Well, we started in 1973. Uh, I think we joined the club before we even bought any camping equipment. You know, we were so determined that that was how our holidays were going to be. We got two young children at the time, and uh, that was the way to, to go, really. Uh, We've been members ever since, and we're now termed veterans. Yeah, the veteran membership we have now, and we're <laughs> very proud of it. Originally, when we first joined the club, um, you got a certain amount of insurance in your membership, which covered our tents and equipment. Um, eventually, we they discontinued that, but uh, and for a long while, all the time we were tenting, we were never bothered with insurance. I felt that uh, and nothing was that expensive. Uh, if it got destroyed, well, it was quite reasonably replaced, but uh, once you end up with a vehicle like this, you, you have to have insurance for uh, use on the road, of course, and uh, so since then uh, we've uh, always had good insurance cover and uh, uh, through, the, through the club uh, it's always been very reasonable. I looked around various companies, uh, I think Saga was another company that uh, did motorhome insurance and one or two others and uh, at the time I believe the club's costs were slightly higher but I felt that they knew what my needs were being a camping and caravanning club and they know what you need in the way of insurance so I went with them and uh, ever since then the costs have come down and down and down <laughs> it's quite amazing uh, in fact, uh, I, I recently did check to see what I'd paid over the years, and you know, it started off at about 246, which I think is incredibly reasonable considering the the size of the vehicle and and everything else compared to caravan insurance. And um, then it had gone down to 190 something at some stage. It's started going up again now, of course. We're seven years on, so it's not surprising, but. Uh, uh, it's incredibly reasonable. Sometimes people feel that, you know, particularly with, with caravans, uh, you maybe don't need insurance. Um, you are prepared to take the risk. But uh, I think one of the problems with caravans is that they are quite easily stolen, even off your drive, even when you, you might be in a bedroom just above it. You know, they disappear overnight. Oh, well, I think it's just peace of mind, isn't it? If something does terrible does happen, you you know, you haven't lost everything. It's just so important that you do have good cover. <laughs>